Today we are focusing on circle geometry past paper questions. So using the techniques and the tips and everything that we talked about in the circle geometry theory lesson and actually applying them in questions. Having a good look at what these sorts of things look like. So if we take our first one all the way back from summer 2004, maths is still the mat same maths. Okay, we have a diagram and there is your um, first sort of thing when you see a diagram like this, you are then doing circle geometry. And as soon as you see circle geometry, then you put your calculator in radians. You put it in radians and you leave it there for the entirety of the question. So seeing as this is an entire lesson on circle geometry, you can put your calculator into radians and you can leave it there for the entirety of the next 30 minutes. So we have a diagram. In the diagram, OCD is an isosceles triangle. OC equals OD. They're both 10 centimeters in full. COD is an angle. It's 0.8 radians. The points A and B are on OC and OD respectively, and they're joined by the arc of the circle, center O, and radius 6 centimeters. They want us to find the area of the shaded region and then the perimeter of the shaded region. And this is often what a nice, standard, straightforward circle geometry question will look like. What I like to do is actually to start in English. Okay, in order to get the area shaded here, how would we do it? So area shaded would equal and it's back to those, those ideas of where if you cut out a shape, then you're left with an area. So if we take the area of this whole entire triangle and we cut out the sector, then we're left with that shaded area. So area shaded is area triangle OCD minus area sector OAB. And see how precise we are. We say the triangle OCD, the sector OAB. Okay, we could just do area OCD, that would imply the triangle. But for sector OAB, if we don't say sector, then it would be the triangle OAB, which is definitely not what we are looking for in this case. Okay, so now we know where we're heading to. That's our sort of final calculation that we're going to do. So what elements do we need in order to be able to do that? Well, we need the area of this triangle and we need the area of the sector. So the area of triangle OCD is effectively a triangle in a sector because we have 10 and 10. These are the same. So we could even put another arc on the end here. Remember that triangle in a sector where you've got radius and radius? It's wonderful, it's one half r squared, so 10 squared times sine theta, sine 0.8. Note there that I did not write the formula down. If you're a person who likes to write formulas down, put them up here somewhere. Okay, do not put them in your answer. You're going to see why just now. Okay, R is not necessarily always R. R could be 2R in one question. So do not do the formulas in your working out. So half times 10 squared times sine 0.8. This is going to give us radians calculator 35.867. We're going to answer an end to three significant figures they haven't told us to do otherwise. So therefore we want to work to a few more significant figures so that we don't cause rounding issues later on. So we've got the area of our triangle, now we want the area of our sector. Area sector OAB equals area of a sector is one half r squared theta. So one half r here now we say of our sector is just six. So six squared and theta is 0 0.8. Just the angle. Simplify that on our calculator, still in radians, we don't ever take it out of radians, is 
four. So now we've got each of these elements, we're ready to go and put them back into our final calculation that we were heading to. Area shaded equals 35.867 minus 14.4, which equals 21.5. So we are given centimeters in everything. So our area shaded would now be therefore in centimeters squared. Applied questions must have units in there just for completeness. Okay, so that's then our area shaded. Next question asks us to get that perimeter of that shaded region. So we're gonna just start on the diagram for a bit because the diagram is not again with the question. So when we're doing a perimeter for a shaded, we're gonna work the same thing. If we pick a starting point, let's pick a starting point here, what would we use to actually get that perimeter? Well, we need the arc AB, then this plus four. We're going to need this line of CD, and then we're going to add four again. So we're going to start our answer for the perimeter in the same way. That perimeter shaded equals, and remember, we write arc AB, because AB would just be the straight line. Arc AB plus four, plus CD plus four. Pause, we don't need to do anything, we're happy with them. So our two problem children are the arc AB and the length of CD. So when it comes to an arc, arc AB, remember, arc length equals R times theta. So it's just radius six times theta 0.8. Six times 0.8. That gives us 4.8. Now we get to the more fun stuff. How do we get CD? I did give you a moment to just look a bit. Remember that we talked about the beauty of right angled triangles and Sokotoa. And here it is. When you have a beautiful isosceles triangle, if you take a line right through the middle, that line's gonna meet at 90 degrees. The angle is going to chop exactly in half. And now you have one side, one angle, an unknown side that would be very useful and you can use your soccer tower. So what is nice to do is if you do create a point like this, give it a name so that your examiner can see. The other thing that is very nice to do is to actually redraw that triangle that you're gonna work with in your answer. It helps clarify your head as well in terms of what you're dealing with. So we are on our way to getting CD. So for CD, we're gonna use this triangle. The angle is 0.4. The hypotenuse is 10. There's D and there's our X. And XD equals one half CD. Because we went straight through that angle. So we have a hypotenuse, we have an opposite, we are focusing our life on sine. So we know then that sine 0.4 is going to equal, and we don't write opposite over hypotenuse, or op over hype, or O over H. What's the difference between an O and a zero when you write it down? Okay, we've got some big issues with all of those things. So again, we don't write formulas, we use them. So sine 0.4 is equal to XD over 10. So XD equals 10 sine 0 
And therefore, we're not going to evaluate at this stage because the less we evaluate, the more accurate we're going to be. So if XD is 10 sine 0 0.4, then CD equals 2 by that. So CD equals 20 sine 0.4. So our, now we've got our arc AB, we've got our CD and we've got our two fours. So we're ready to go back to that original where we said we're gonna go and perimeter of shaded equals arc AB 4.8 plus four plus four we know is eight plus CD is 20 sine 0.4. And we're going to then evaluate everything all at once, giving us 20.588. Three significant figures, as we weren't told otherwise. So 20.6 applied question centimeters. So it's very easy here for the examiner to follow what you've done when they're marking your work. And it's also very easy for you to go back and check it because ideally you're finishing your paper a few minutes to spare. So you can go back and you can check, what did I do? Why did I do it? How did it all work out? And that's that joy of having that triangle available for you to see immediately. That's what I did and why. To the next question. Here we have another lumpy bumpy shape. Okay, so we have a metal plate ABCD made from two parts. BCD is a semicircle. DAB is a segment of a circle, center O and radius 10 centimeters. Angle BOD is 1.2 radians. Show that the radius of the semicircle is 5.646 correct to three decimal places. So we're going to have to work to more than three decimal places in order to prove the two, three decimal places. So again, we look carefully and we think, you know what? I got some isosceles triangles going on here again. Okay, radius, radius. We can split him down the middle. And then you've got your right angle triangle and you've got your 0 0.6, but so as not to confuse things too, too much, the best option is to Bring that whole sketch out, right angle triangle. This is going to be R, the radius of this semicircle. So BD is the diameter, but from the center to B, that's a radius. Perfect, exactly what we're looking for. So these are 10 centimeters, the radius of the big circle. And then we have our 0.6. So yet again, we have opposite and we have hypotenuse, so we're linking through sine. Sine 0.6 equals r over 10. r equals 10 sine 0.6. r equals to more than three decimal places. First, 5.6464, and therefore r equals 5.646. So R equals 5.646 centimeters to three decimal places. And we're going everything in full here because we're relating back to that question of show this to three decimal places. So we don't want to leave it random. Hopefully you are happy and hopefully your basic trig is, is freshening up in your mind. Similar question, again now, to the previous one, find the perimeter. So what is the perimeter now of this shape? Okay, it's a lumpy bumpy shape. We've got this huge, great big arc, B-A-D, and then we've got the little r, D-C-B. So we've got to walk all the way around that and all the way around that to get the perimeter. So again, we start with perimeter equals arc BAD plus arc BCD. And you see how it's nice here that they've given us 
those little letters on the way, the A and the C, because it makes it so much easier to distinguish between the big arc and the little arc, because one is BAB and the other is BCD, not just big and little. Okay, so that's where we're heading. What do we need? We need the two arcs. Arc BAD equals R times theta. And this is where we've got a problem. So if we use R of theta for this, we can't use R of theta for that because it's one answer. R can't have two different values in one question. So this is the sort of thing that we're talking about why we say don't write down your formulas. It's part of your answer. So what is our R for BAD? R is 10 centimeters. What is theta? Okay, the angle for this arc here is this angle on this side. It's this big angle, not the little. Now remember, we don't deal in degrees, we work only in radians. So the full rotation would be two pi. Two pi minus that little slice is going to give us this big angle. So R is 10 and the angle is two pi minus 1.2. And if we evaluate this, we get two, 50.831. Nice and straightforward. Then we're ready to do arc BCD. And this is now the little circle, which is a semicircle. Okay, so remember 2 pi r would be your full circumference. So just pi r is your half, which also makes sense because your angle here is pi pi times the radius. So we would want then pi times, and we would use 5.6, whoops, that's right it properly, 6464. Four. We would use calculations to more decimal places. Then we're going to round off. This is going to give us 17.73. Okay, so now we've got our arc BAD, we have our arc BCD, we can combine them to get that perimeter that they asked us for. So 50.831 plus 17.739 gives us 68.6. Go back to the question, units were all in centimeters, so then our perimeter will also be in centimeters. Similar question, again now, to the previous one, find the perimeter. So what is the perimeter now of this shape? Okay, it's a lumpy bumpy shape. We've got this huge great big arc, BAD, and then we've got the little r, DCB. So we've got to walk all the way around that and all the way around that to get the perimeter. So again, we start with perimeter equals arc BAD plus arc BCD. And you see how it's nice here that they've given us those little letters on the way, the A and the C because it makes it so much easier to distinguish between the big arc and the little arc, because one is BAD and the other is BCD, not just big and little. Okay, so that's where we're heading. What do we need? We need the two arcs. Arc BAD equals R times theta. And this is where we've got a problem. So if we use R of theta for this, we can't use R of theta for that because it's one answer. R can't have two different values in one question. So this is the sort of thing that we're talking about why we say don't write down your formulas. It's part of your answer. So what is our R for BAD? R is 10 centimeters. What is theta? Okay, the angle for this arc here is this angle on this side. It's this big angle, not the little. Now remember we don't deal in degrees, we work only in radians. So the full rotation would be two pi. Two pi minus that little slice is going to give us this big angle. 
So r is 10 and the angle is 2 pi minus 1.2. And if we evaluate this, we get 2, 50.831. Nice and straightforward. Then we're ready to do arc BCD. And this is now the little circle, which is a semicircle. Okay, so remember 2 pi r would be your full circumference. So just pi r is your half, which also makes sense because your angle here is pi five times the radius. So we would want then pi times, and we would use 5.6, whoops, let's write it properly, 6464. We would use calculations to more decimal places. Then we're going to round off. This is going to give us 17.73. Okay, so now we've got our arc BAD, we have our arc BCD, we can combine them to get that perimeter that they asked us for. So 50.831 plus 17.739 gives us 68.6. Go so back to the question, units were all in centimeters, so then our perimeter will also be in centimeters. There is actually a part three to this question. Not much of a surprise. Part three asks you for the area. So if we go back to here, and we look now at this whole big shape, how are we going to do the area? We've got various different ways to approach this. Okay, we could do the area of this sector, big sector here, plus the area of this triangle, plus the semicircle. Or we could do the area of this entire circle minus the segment here, plus the semicircle. So whichever route that you wanna go, then, it's, it's fine, okay, because you're going to be working with the same techniques as long as you're working a full technique. The way I like to do it is, is take out that whole circle, take off the segments, and then add in the semicircle. Okay, so that's the method I'm going to do, but you're welcome to do another one and compare. So area is going to equal circle ABD minus segment of sector OBD. So that's our big circle minus the segment of this sector here. Okay, but we're going to then add on semicircle BCD, the little semicircle. So now we've got to work through various different things. So if we work first, area, circle, ABD. Area of a circle, very simple, straightforward. It's still pi r squared. So it's pi times 10 squared, which equals 100 pi. Okay, next one, segment of sector OBD. So area segment equals, remember for the segment, you've got to take the whole sector and you've got to remove the triangle. So let's just draw that here quickly. There's our sector. If we remove this triangle, we're left with the segment. So area of the segment is area of the sector, which is one half r squared theta is 1.2 because we're working now with that little sector we're going to remove so minus the area of the triangle so one half 
R squared sine 1.2. Remember, you are still in radians. You have not removed your calculator from radians because you're still doing circle geometry. If we plug all of this into our calculator, it does not come out as such a pretty number. So we'll give it with an extra few numbers. 398, there's the area of our segment. So we've done this one. Now we need the area of our semicircle. And again, that's straightforward and simple. It's, it's a half of pi r squared. Nothing funny, nothing changed to area of a circle. So one half times pi r for our little one, remember, for that semicircle was our 5.6464. So when we evaluate all of that, again, it's not very pretty, but it is 50.0799. So now from that list that we started with of all the things we need, we've got each element and we are ready now to calculate that total area. So area equals the circle, 100 pi, minus the segment, minus 13.398, plus the semicircle, plus 50.0799, and if we plug all of that in, then we end up with 351, three significant figures, centimeters, and its area, so it's squared. So now we've got the area of the metal plate. So we've worked through very similar questions, and that's what these circle geometry questions often come out as. It's, it's the same thing over and over again. It is just a case of different ways that they show you different ways that they illustrate different diagrams, but you're always coming back to those same set of formulas and how you're gonna use them. I see somebody is awake. Area of a semicircle, ladies and gentlemen, is one half pi r squared, so that one should be squared. So if you do square it, then you do get that 50.0799. Okay, so one half pi r squared, don't forget your squarings. This is why you shouldn't work on rough notes, because when you copy them onto final, then you make silly mistakes like that. <clears throat> so even if you have rough notes for presenting a lesson, you run into the same problems. So hopefully now we have all our r squares in the right place. It looks like it. We have our final area. So we have one more question. We don't have time to do the full calculations for it. So what I want to just talk through is the approaches that we'd use. Okay, so you can get an idea that it's the same thing. So the first thing asks us to show that an angle is 0.9273 radians, correct the four decimal places. <clears throat> so we've got a square of side 10 centimeters. So we've got 10. We've got five, we've got five. We've got a beautiful, again, isosceles triangle. And we've got another, then right angle and 10. So we're looking for angle BOC, so we can work with a half of it. This will also be a five, this will also be a five. And you see, again, we're working with angles and sides. We have opposite and adjacent in this case. So we can work with a tan. So we're going to work with a tan to do that. Part two of this question asks for the perimeter of the shaded region. Well, shaded region would be the side BC plus the arc CXB or BXC, depending on which direction you go. Okay, well, BC is 10 because it's on the side of our square. And our arc will be r times theta. So the question there is, what is OC? But again, <clears throat> here we've got a 5, here we've got a 10, here we've got a right angle because we've got a square, um, square shape, so right angles in the corners. So then we can look at even bringing in Pythagoras in this case to get our radius here, which is also the hypotenuse of our triangle. 
So we get our radius, we've got our theta, we can get our arc plus 10. Last piece is area of that shaded region. And that's exactly like we did in the previous question, that's a segment. So in order to do the area of the segment, you do area of the sector minus area of the triangle. Difference here is that your triangle is in a square, it's got beautiful perpendicular heights, so you don't have to use anything complicated. If you want to go away and do these questions, first one is a show that, so you should get that answer. The perimeter of the shaded region, you should get at the end of the day, answer equals 20.4 centimeters. And when you calculate that shaded area, your answer should be 7.96 centimeters squared. So now you've got some extra practice to go away and 